Hi friends, I am Snehal and in this video we are going to discuss how to study physics for the NEET 2023. So let's begin. So first of all, let's talk about the books. The books you must get for your preparation of the NEET 2023. So these are my recommendations and the first one is the obvious one. It's your NCIT physics book and why so? It's because the NEET syllabus is your NCIT syllabus and the questions in the NEET exam, they are highly derived from your NCIT physics exercise questions. Okay, so you must read NCIT physics book and you must solve exercises from the NCIT physics book. All right, so this is my first recommendation. Then the next one is also the must one. Okay. So it is chapter wise previous year paper solved. So you will get books like this, like 33 years or 34 years previous year question paper solved. And here I don't really care about the publication. You will get books from uh, Aryan, Disha, MTG, etc. etc. So whatever publication you prefer, you can pick that book. So from this book, you will get an idea of what kind of questions are asked in the NEET exam. So that you will be able to tackle them. So now you know the theory. Now you know what kind of questions are asked in the NEET exam. So what do you need to do next? You need to practice, right? So I will recommend some books for practicing also. But before that, I would like to say, if you have joined some coaching institute, then they will provide you practice material, right? So first of all, just do that material. Do the practice questions from the material given by your coaching institute. And after that, if you have some time left, then you can pick any one of these three books. Okay, not all of them. So first one is MTG Objective NCRT at your fingertips. Okay, next one, the Aryan, the DC Pandey need book. And the next one is Singage need book. So pick any one of them not all three of them okay just one and then solve as many questions as you can from that book all right and if you have not joined any coaching institute then any one of these three books will suffice okay then practice questions from this book all right so then your study plan so now if you are going to some institute or you are watching some lecture on youtube let's say then what should you do? So while attending the class, I won't say write down everything. Okay, everything the teacher is teaching. So in that way, you will be just writing down and your attention will be noting down the things. Okay, and not on the lecture itself. So I would say make rough notes during the lectures, not fair notes, not everything. Just note down the things that you feel are very important. It might be a formula, Okay, and it might be a little example. All right, so just make rough notes. No, uh, don't note down everything. Then after the lectures, what should you do? You should make short notes. Okay, you should make short notes of the lectures. And for making the short notes, you can you can refer notes made by your friends or notes provided by the coaching institute, and the NCRT book and if you have not joined any coaching institute and you are watching some lectures on YouTube then I told you about the books so either MTG or Aryan or Singesh they have some theory in them so you can refer that theory and theory from the NCRT book then make your own notes your own short notes all right so here I would like to uh, provide you with a pro tip and the tip is while taking the notes for a particular chapter, keep first two pages blank. And what should you do with these blank pages? Just write down all the formulae that are there in that chapter on those two pages. Okay. So this will help you a lot. So let's say you are practicing some multiple choice questions and you want to see some formula. So you don't have to skim through all the pages of your notes. Just look into those two pages and you will find that formula. All right. So this will help you a lot. Then 
now you have studied a chapter you have made your notes now what should you do so you should practice lots of multiple choice questions either through your uh, coaching material or through the book that i have recommended so solve lots of multiple choice questions practice lots of multiple choice questions and after that what should you do you should go to that book the previous year question paper solved and you should pick 50 questions okay pick 50 questions then set some timer and try to solve them in 45 minutes now maybe you are able to solve maybe you are not able to solve 50 questions in 45 minutes most probably you won't be able to solve okay so what should you do next so now your timer is uh, okay let's say your alarm rings and then you should stop there and you should make a mark okay so now from here you get an idea of your speed all right so how many questions you are able to solve in 45 minutes so from that you will get an idea of your speed it will improve with the practice don't worry about it next now solve all the remaining questions okay you have you had taken 50 questions right so let's say you have solved 30 so solve remaining questions too and now check the answers which ones are correct which ones are not correct so from here you get an idea about your speed also and your knowledge also okay and finally appear for as many tests as possible so if you have joined some classroom program they will arrange a test series for you so appear for all the tests and if you have not joined then you can just buy a test series okay at the minimal price okay whatever is affordable so you can buy that and appear for as many tests as possible so this will improve in your speed also and it will give you an idea about the exam conditions too okay so this is the study plan all right so now you are studying from ncrt you are making notes you are solving lots of multiple choice question and you are also appearing for tests so is there anything else that you must do yes there is one more thing that you must do and that thing is to revive okay and it's because this is a long journey so it's natural to forget about the thing so you must plan your revision calendar and i would advise i would give a suggestion to revise each week whatever things you learned in that week you must revise in that week then whatever things you learn in a month okay you study in a month you must revise them each month then after three months you must plan out some time for the revision and at the end of the syllabus there is revision revision and revision on okay so this is how i think you should study to get good marks in NEET 2023 and also to secure a good rank so i hope you like the video thanks for watching